Hey everybody, Coach Rienzo here with BTB Lax. We want to talk to you about fast break defense. But first of all, what is a fast break? A fast break is any four on three situation where you're transitioning from defense to offense. A five on four or a six on five, that's a slow break and we'll talk about that in another video. But we want to focus on the fast break defensive portion. Okay, so how we defend a fast break. A couple BTB keys to keep in mind. As defenders, we're trying to buy time. All we need is like two or three seconds, and that'll give us enough time for that fourth or fifth or sixth defender to get in there, and then we'll be all marked up and, and numbered up, and we'll be able to play six on six defense. And the way that we do that is we stay nice and tight, but we force extra passes. Force them to make another one, two, three more passes, and a couple things will happen. One is we'll be buying that time where we'll get that extra defender in and be marked up. And the other thing that could happen is they could throw the ball out of bounds, they could drop the pass where we can scoop up the ground ball. There's a lot of bad that can happen for the offense when they're forced to make two and three extra passes. Okay, now moving on to defending the fast break. What we need to do first is we need to identify the situation as a fast break. Is it a fast break? Is it a slow break? Is it a six on six? Identify it as a fast break and then communicate that to your teammates. Just because you know it's a fast break, you maybe you're this point, point defenseman here, just because you know it's a fast break doesn't mean that these two low guys do. Okay, so you need to communicate that to each other, make sure everyone's on the same page. And again, use the terminology that your coaches have taught you. They may say three or triangle or fast break, whatever it is. Personally, at BTB, we use fast break. You just call out fast break. Okay, so that's the first part of the communication. Call out that it is a fast break. Secondly, you need to call out your spots. Which spot, so our defenders are in red here, which spot are you occupying? Are you low left, looking out from the goal? Are you uh, low right? Are you, are you the point defenseman? Okay, those are the three basic spots, okay? And keeping going with that positioning, you can see we're in a nice tight triangle, okay? And when you hear about fast break defense, that's what everyone always talks about, getting a nice tight triangle, okay? And you'll see these defenders are pretty tight to the goal. Um, the low right defender and the low left defender, they're about two yards above the goal line extended and about three yards off the middle of the field. Okay, so two yards up, three yards over. Give or take a yard or two, depending upon how the attackman is playing and where he is. This point attackman, uh, the point defenseman rather, is at about 12 yards above the goal. Okay, you don't want to get drawn out to the top of the box or 18 yards from the goal because then you're giving up a lot of space underneath, which is good scoring space for the attack. So you want to stay nice and tight, and to scale, this defender may even want to get in a little bit tighter. Okay, so he's given up the outside shot. Okay, now, one very important key, and we'll talk about the offensive part for a second. Midfielders are taught by good offensive coaches to carry the ball as hard as they can into the box and to draw a defender. If they don't draw a defender, they're going to go to the goal and shoot and score. Okay, so knowing that, defensively, the first thing we want to do, the point man needs to stop the ball. That's the first thing to remember once we get set in our positions. So this defender, and he's out too far because it's, it's kind of hard to draw to scale, but he'd be in tighter right about to here. Okay, He's going to slide over and he's going to stop the ball carrier. That's the first thing that that point defender needs to do. Okay, Now some other BTB keys to keep in mind. These three defenders work as one, okay? And you can imagine that they're all attached by a string. So I'm gonna draw a little imaginary string in there, okay? So you can see, as one moves, they're all gonna move a little bit, okay? So just keep that in mind. Let me erase these lines here. Again, so the midfielder, offensively, is carrying the ball in the box. And the first look for an offensive midfielder 95% of the time or 100% of the time is going to be to this point attackman. That's what they're all taught to do is pass to the point attackman. Okay. So if we've stopped the ball like we're supposed to, this defender comes out, he stops the ball. Okay. When they make that pass over, this defender can't try and guard both guys. Okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to rotate as a triangle with that string being attached to our waists. Okay. So as the ball comes across, this defender is going to come up, this defender is going to come across, and this defender, he's got a tough job, he's got to get down to this low corner, okay? One thing to keep in mind with this point defender, the ball goes across, we come up, we come across, and he's got to get down. 
he can't turn his back to the ball. So make sure you're always opening up to the middle of the field so that you can see the ball if they try and make this pass and get your stick in that passing lane. All right. So you can see as one moves up, all three are moving together as a unit as if there's string attached between the three of us in that triangle. Another BTB key to defending a fast break successfully is keeping your stick high into the inside. So as these defenders are operating, they're always keeping their stick high into the inside so they can pick off any skip passes or at the very least knock the ball down. Okay, so those are some real basic keys to defending a fast break. Did you know that there's just two simple things that separate the average youth and high school lacrosse player from the elite guys that are ready to go on to play in college and beyond? Yep, just two simple things. We teamed up with college All-American and multiple MLL All-Star Mike Kimmel to put together a completely free, 45 minute long, three part video training series that's gonna show kids and parents exactly what those two things are what you need to be working on if you want to take your game to the next level. And nope, it's got nothing to do with hitting the gym or running till you puke. If you're serious about improving as a player and you want to become one of the best guys on your team, get more playing time, and catch the eye of college recruiters, you have to see this free video training. Just click the link below in the description of this video and you'll be taken to a page where you can ask to receive instant access to these free videos. Join the thousands of high school and youth players that have already seen Mike's awesome training and take control of your game today.